Welcome back to the whole picture. Candid photographs depend on the subject being unaware of the photographer. Is there a way to get rid of the photographer altogether? In a way, there is. I'm Erin Manning, and I'm teaching Sarah Nix how to take great candid photographs. Hey, Sarah, it seems like you're getting used to the timing on your shutter lag. I think so. Okay. Well, here's another great technique to take good candid photographs without drawing attention to yourself. Okay. It's called the self-timer. I've always wondered about that. Yeah, it's just a setting on your camera that allows you to delay the shutter release from 2 to 10 seconds. Wow. So this way, you can just set the camera on the tripod, mm -hmm. compose your shot, set the self-timer, and then walk away from the camera. No one will know you're taking the picture. Okay. Okay, and just because you're the family photographer doesn't mean you can't be in the family photographs. Okay, so you'll just compose your shot, mm -hmm. set the self-timer, jump in there with your family, and just try to act natural and do something in the photograph, so no posing. Okay. Okay? Let's go ahead and take a picture of them back there. We'll just use this tripod. Primarily, a self-timer's function is to allow the photographer to be in her own photos. For candid photography, it can also be useful when you want to take a picture with your subject's attention completely focused away from the camera. We'll get the hang of using the self-timer first by taking a candid image of our subject without Sarah trying to be in the picture. Before we get to the camera settings, the camera must be set on a tripod or level surface. You still need to press the shutter release button in two steps when using the self-timer. First, press the shutter button halfway down to lock, focus, and exposure. Check the scene in the viewfinder or on the LCD. Many digital cameras let you select the time it takes for the self-timer to release the shutter, usually between 2 and 10 seconds. So next, select the time you'll want the shutter to release. Then, fully press the shutter release button to trigger the timer. As you move your hands away, don't nudge the camera from its set position. Now let's try a candid shot that includes the photographer. Get your image framed, press the shutter button halfway to lock the focus and exposure, fully press the shutter button to set the timer, then scurry over to your framed area and interact naturally with your husband. And of course, once you get there, act natural and don't look at the camera. Okay, here's another tip for taking candid photographs using your self-timer. Okay. All right, let's say you're taking a picture in a low light situation mm -hmm. where you're gonna need a long shutter exposure. And when that happens, the camera's more susceptible to shaking. Okay. For instance, if you're gonna take the picture and your finger presses down the shutter button, the mm -hmm. camera's gonna move a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. You'll get a blurry photograph. But if you take this and put it on a tripod and then set the self-timer, move away from the camera, it'll take the picture and it'll be really crisp and clear. Okay. All right? Okay. Now, we've learned all these things today outside using mm -hmm. stealth photojournalism candid techniques. Right. But if you take these same techniques and apply them to your family at home, you'll get some great pictures. Okay. All right, so go ahead and go home, take lots of great candids of your family, and I'll see you tomorrow at the studio. We'll look at all the pictures on the computer. Okay, sounds okay? great. All right, uh, can I get my coat back? <laughs> great action, but too much space around the edges? After the break, you'll learn how to crop your photos, giving that candid moment an ideal framing.